again i welcome you all for the video lecture on environmental ethics and human centered ethics unit number 5 global issues in professional ethics engineering so what is environmental ethics and why it is needed so before going to know what is environmental ethics and why it is needed let me tell you a story which will be useful for uh, which will be making you to understand the relationship between two different words mnzs and morality multinational corporation and morality so what is going to be the relationship between multinational corporation and morality and then we will see about what is environmental ethics so the story is all about bhopal gas tragedy so what do you know about bhopal tra- gas tragedy on december 2nd 1984 over 5 lakh people died because of the exposure to gas poisonous gas methyl isocyanate which was released from union carbide india limited a factory which was which was owned by us based mnc and government of india which was producing pesticide in bhopal so through that leakage of the poisonous gas over 5 lakh people lost their life and still people are suffering from it so the night december second night was also called as night of death so how did this happen or the company responsible for it or the company innocent of they do not know how the leakage happened so let us see. was the union carbide corporation not responsible or innocent no initially they already had many incidents occurring inside the factory but the company did not take into account so finally on december 2nd 1984 this has led to the leakage of the methyl isocyanate here there is something which we have to consider if the company if the company has taken into account or taken to serious action all the above incidents they would have taken care of the safety of the environment and people working there inside yes so the company has not been ethical or moral to the working employee working employee and also to the environment so this is clearly makes us understand that the company has not been moral to the employees or the environment so now let us see what are all the incidents that have occurred earlier in 1976 two local trade unions complained of pollution within the plant 1981 a worker diseased of exposure to toxic gas 1982 24 worker exposed to toxic gas and hospitalized again in 1982 a chemical engineer was exposed to liquid mic and had 30% of body burns in 1983 and 84 there were already leaks of mic and fluorine which was not taken into account or considered by the company in 1984 this just as has happened further the company was further the company was letting its effluence into the ground and contaminating its ground water so now tell me the company was it not responsible for the tragedy bhopal gas tragedy took struck in two different ways or as it can be uh, told as bhopal was struck by its tragedies we just know there was an exposure of gas only but that tragedy led into two different tragedies so which can be classified as number 1 the children's immediately after the uh, gas tragedy was also the victim because their mothers were exposed to the gases and the number 2 the chemical waste chemical waste were dumped in in the ground and still they are affecting the ground water and they are indirectly causing the health issues for people in bhopal right so now let me tell you what is the connection between an mnc and morality now like we saw in the previous slide if the company uh, would have taken into account the safety of uh, the people working there or the safety of the host environment or host country or the safety of 
are are protecting the environment around the company there would not be any kind of destruction that would have happened the company would have seriously taken about taken taken about uh, taken stand in the maintenance and they, that would have seriously taken an account of not polluting the environment but both the aspects the company has been unethical and immoral so like we saw in the last video and company or a mng company which is established in host country should benefit the host country in the way such as developing the environment and prevailing the district uh, in preventing the destruction of environment in economic and health wise and social wide development of the host country citizens but this has not happened in the bhopal gas tragedy so this directly reveals that this directly reveals that the company is no has not been ethical and moral to the host country citizens so and this makes it clear so i hope that now you would have had an idea about what is the uh, need for an mnc to have an moral ethics and also moral ethics so i hope so i hope so you will be understanding what is the need of an mnc to have an moral ethics now we will see what is the relationship between water contamination caused by the mng and environmental ethics so let me tell you in a simple words environmental ethics is nothing but environment protected by humans and also the companies where environment protected by the humans and companies so thing is that in a simple words you can tell not causing any harm to the environment and not consuming all the environmental resources or natural resources this is called as environmental ethics or else when we are consuming any kind of natural resources there should be a particular permissible limits so we should know what is right and what is wrong when we are doing it to an individual person when it comes to environment it is called as environment ethics environmental ethics is a branch of ethics that studies relationship of human beings and environment and how ethics plays role in this environment ethics believes that humans are a part of society as well as other living creatures which includes plants animals these items are very important part of the world and are considered to be functional part of human life thus it is essential that every human being respect and honor this and use natural and use moral and ethics when dealing with the with these creatures when dealing with these creatures so this tells us humans are not only the integral part of the world right every creatures are also in, we understand that uh, humans are not only the integral part of the earth every animal and plant also have their own part in environment so it is not that the human should always harm the animals and environment ethics initially engineers were having negligence of what is the product they are producing and how the product is affecting the environment but nowadays it is very important for the engineers to take into account that they should ensure the protection of the environment prevent the degradation of environment slow down the exploitation of natural resources so that the future generation can survive so now the engineers have to take into account all these points when they are producing any technology or any product so these rules and regulations are, are been given to the engineers by american society of civil engineers which states that the engineers are solely responsible for the protection of health safety health and welfare of the public and and they should also and they should also consider the principles of sustainable development 
in performance of in performing the professional service duties the term sustainable development means the whatever technology or whatever they are developing that should gradually use the natural resources and that should also be used by the future generation also that should process that should be used by the future generation also oh hp is what uh, hp is an example of a company which are which is following the environmental ethics because they are not causing ha- any harm to the environmental around them and they are user friendly and they are eco friendly and they also choose their vendors also depending upon the records of their environmental concern only okay so through this hp hp is an example of company which follows the environmental ethics engineers as experimenters have certain duties towards environmental ethics right i told you that engineers are nowadays taking into account the safety and uh, natural resource exploitation when producing any kind of technology or a product that is the engineers are in, are carefully designing their products that it does not cause any kind of effects on the environment like uh, uh, cfc chlorofluorocarbon has been replaced as refrigerant like chlorofluorocarbon chlorofluorocarbon is replaced by r134a as refrigerant in acs and fridges chlorofluorocarbon initially caused the effect of ozone layer depletion and, uh, and global warming also so this was replaced now by the engineers to reduce the impact on, on the environment so likewise the engineers has four different duties in environmental safety or environmental ethics one is environment impact assessment to know to assess the any what is the impact of a, any problem that is put by a product or an technology on environment and to know what is going to be the resultant establishing standards a pro- when a problem is identified by engineer uh, that should be studied and fi- permissible li- d- permissible limit or tolerable limit for the pollutions has to be set by the engineers counter measures if the pollution limit is exceeded by any technology or a product there should be immediate implementation of uh, com- con- control measures over there so that is called as control measures environmental awareness just te, as just doing an environmental impact assessment establishing standards and control measures is not going to do anything there should be an awareness created among the people who are involved in the business or who are polluting so study on how to educate the people on environmental practices issues and possible remedies should be made by the engineers so these are all the role of engineers as experimenters in environmental ethics so what are all the disasters uh, we face by not following the environmental ethics Pla- plastic waste disposal e waste disposal industrial waste disposal depletion of ozone layer global warming acid rain environmental ethics or anthropocentric environmental ethics focuses exclusively on the benefits of the natural environment to humans and the hu- and the threats to human beings presented by the destruction of nature in their classic formulation all of them assume that uh, among the creatures on earth only humans have inherent moral worth and hence deserve to be taken into account in making moral decisions concerning the environment or anything else. creatures and ecosystem have at most instrumental value as means of promoting the human interests so this is called as human centered environmental ethics thank you for watching the video see you all in another video